you did your speech, you were talking about um, this uh, six months uh, data retention uh, law or possibility that that yeah. law is or the, the state has. Would you explain about that? What is it? Well, for six months, every communication, who communicated with whom, when, how long, from where, uh, mobile phones, on mobile phones, on the traditional landline phones, and plus some provisions for internet data that are, I would say, slightly ridiculous. But where, where this uh, data, this data kept, who, who, who is collecting? It's the telecom providers. It's the telecom and mobile providers who provide you with landline, mobile phones, and internet lines and there will be the storage. They will store those traffic data. They do already store them, but they store a certain sample. They don't store everything. It's traffic data, not voice. They don't listen. They do statistics on us. Who, with whom, when, how long. So within five seconds, a machine that is fed and a specialized, and some specialized programs, a machine which is fed all those traffic data number of, of, of one participant, other number, cell where the mobile phone is in, duration of the call, and so on and so on. You can generate very, very meaningful and powerful statistics upon persons. You can do sociograms on, commun on personal communications within 10 seconds on every uh, number. And does the secret services of the European countries have access to of course, of course, because these uh, interfaces weren't only built for um, law enforcement. If you read the ETSI, European Telecom Standards Institute, technical documentations, there, are, there is one type of technical paper that is called user requirements. User is in this case, um, well, law enforcement and others and only in those requirement documents upon which the standards are formulated, only in those uh, requirements documents you will find scope of this document and only there you see is intended for the interception of communications by law enforcement and state security agencies. In German, if you translate this, this would mean Staatssicherheitsagentur. That's exactly the name of the secret police of the communist of, of communist Germany that has perished. But can, can you compare these two things? I mean, uh, modern Europe today and uh, Eastern Germany before the war came down when it comes to surveillance. Yes, I com can compare that. Um, I think if the Stasi by then would have had those means the modern civil state has now, they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have fallen that easily. But how, how close does uh, the telecoms and, uh, and the governments uh, and the secret services cooperate and the suppliers of, 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 of the technology? Um, there is a very close cooperation because they all sit together in the technical standards uh, working groups and they do these standards together. The German Bundesverfassungsschutz is officially in with an official delegate. There are people from the MI5. There are people from the Dutch intelligence service PITS. That's Platform Interceptie, Decryptie and Signalanalyse. Well, it's classic military, uh, the stuff the NSA does. So uh, they sit together and formulate those standards together and what's very important, the Etsy interfaces, interface just means a place where I can get the data I want to get out from the telecom network. Those interfaces are not for one user, those interfaces are for at least three parallel users. You know what I mean by users? This is some law enforcement or something else. And the rules for those sub-interfaces for every government agent, for a different government agency is 
one agency must not know that another agency is on the other uh, connection listening maybe to the same or examining the same data. Well, this is a classical secret service provision. Statistics that they do, uh, are they necessary to, to fight terrorism? Well, of course you can fight, try to find any means to fight, fight terrorism, but uh, especially as far as the internet data are concerned, um, you will, they will get in the, in, in the near future only um, dumb terrorists, amateurs, and those who are technically illiterate. Because everybody else can circumvent that very easily, very easily. Just the normal citizen won't do it. Because he just wants to make a call. He does nothing wrong. So why should he hide? Everybody says, ah, I've got nothing to hide. So this data retention, mass of data, will, be, will contain, first of all, data of people of the civil society, people who have done no wrong. Then they, will, they might find small criminals with this, kind of, with this kind of data, people who don't pay their phone bills. This is, well, this is uh, one of the biggest loss, biggest singular losses of every mobile provider. Uh, small fraud, small fraudsters. Um, you'll, you'll find dumb blackmailers and stupid terrorists, but nobody, of, nobody who is a bit tech savvy will be trapped in that network.